But maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss and burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Clearly not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they had folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to steam their poor lanes. They kill about some dwarf. Okay, thank you for all your info, I've man. Enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. <clears throat> Just beware of the dogs. Okay, doggies, please be, please be nice to me. Sorry, dog. Sorry, dog. Sorry, dog. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Okay, so that's what Fabian. Someone dragged something across the floor. Okay, that means there's from one wall to the other repeatedly. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Yeah, definitely looks like eternal fire mischief right now. What's this? Ah, concerned citizen sermon. Let's see here. Um, remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare for our nurse or prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Concerned citizen. Okay, so it's obvious that uh, this guy uh, pissed off some eternal fire lads slash lasses. Okay, what's in here? Mind if I go inside the workshop? It's not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. Well, there's obviously something in there, man. Obviously something in there. He didn't even look in. He didn't even look in here. Something is. Definitely going to be problems. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood. Left a few stains knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. What is this on the floor? I mean on the counter. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Well, uh, you know where his eyes went. And what's this over here? Formaldehyde. Oh. Dr. Fabian used it. They did Nothing the work in here. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for your help. Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitoli. Oh, I. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Wait, them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold, as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled, Fabian was overpowered, then tortured, for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. Well, when rip. it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the corner. <laughs> he just keeps on saying it. of sculptures set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? 
to teach a lesson to him, you, the whole city. Okay, time to go. Fine, we've talked <clears> enough. <throat> Won't learn anything else here. Take care. See ya, buddy. Uh, see ya, doggies. It was nice meeting you. It's time to go off and go see what other stuff is happening. Oh man, that sword is kind of gnarly. That sword is kind of gnarly. It's like a cleaver. It looks like Orchrist. What in the world's happening Oi, here? Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. Okay, well, thank you. Um... Let me just go in here and investigate this. Uh, what's your name? Whistling Wendy? Can I talk to you really quick and ask you some questions? Oh no, never mind. You're going to ignore me. Remeldehyde? A brazier. This time of year. Grab him! Sis. That him. How am I to know? What what's this? Okay, well can I, like... Okay, fine. Fine, come here. Come here. Okay, come on, come on. Can I do at least Ard? Oh, man. Stupid jerks. I hate fist fights with more than one person. Oh crap. Damn it. Crap. Okay, come on, come on. Gotta take you one at a time. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh crap. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh my you goodness! Me too, huh? I'm your ass, deviant. Who's can fight back? Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. <clears throat> you and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Hmm, okay. Take care now. Thank you for your help. I gotta look around <clears throat> some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally, we'll stand aside, behave, but do tell us if you find anything else here. Okay, we'll do, we'll do. Oh, my head's ringing. I'm whistling when to so, get over here. What? Take care now. I gotta look around. Naturally. <laughs> Those guys are all like, oh. That's what you get. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Human. Priscilla's. Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. What's going on over here? 
Another concerned citizen sermon. These concerned sermons are very concerning. Remember, good people, the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shape-shifting dopplers can hide from its light. Not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk. Not to the loose, loose women who walk the street and fogs men's minds with their charms. Abandon them and treacherous and immortal magics are arcane. Cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts. And the eternal fire will expose you all, monsters and sinners. <laughs> oh man, that was too much. Oh, okay, never mind. <sighs> I'm done. Wait, can I tell her really quick and be like, "Hey, found something." Also? Nope, nothing great. Now it's gonna go through all this crap. And, uh, Excuse me. Sorry, Missy. I'm going out. They tried to kill me. Get out of my way, old man. I've got stuff to take care of. Important stuff to take care of. There's some very serious things going on. Got so fucked up once. <laughs> oh, that guy's a dumb. So we're traversing back through the city. Working our way back to the coroner's office. Hello, Mr. Coroner. I am here. My name is Witcher, Geralt of Meowria. 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 Hey, bud. What's going on here, bud? Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. <coughs> By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but, alas, I had to do something, so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Why is he so much older, then? Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very- Shouldn't it be the other way around, like, player model-wise? Yeah, I was gonna say. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Mm, the irony. How old are you? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, <clears throat> a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. No. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? That would be a devastating slice. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. <gasps> Do you know her? Yes. He even went to her estate once with... Chris. Find her now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We gotta go all the way to the Vagelbud's place. 
Oh man, we gotta hurry. Oh, did that- oh, please don't say this failed. Oh no, maybe it- Till next time, master. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um... I just have to get my way to a, uh, some sort of... Um, place where I can fast travel. There it is right there in High Arc Square. High Arc Square we go! High Arc Square we go! I am a kitty cat, so High Arc Square we go! Oh. Let's see, I'm just gonna run around this way because I think that's the yeah, eye. I know where I am now. Okay, okay, come on boys, let's do this! Let us do this and save Patricia, Bagel Bud. As fast as we can, because it's gonna be scary. Here we go, here we go. You gotta go quick. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Where's the the Where's it? There we go. The Vagal Blood Vagal Bud residence. I need to come back here and do the races. Actually, I should probably do that really quick. Let me see how much more I have left of the races. Um, are you am I sure that empty coop? Oh, well, I guess I failed that. What happened with that? Oh, well, rip in peace. Guess I failed more than one thing now. Where in the world is the, uh... The, the thing's gone. The race is gone. It's just gone. One second, let me go check on the race really quick. Let me go check on the race. Maybe the race is still going. Maybe it's still going. No, it's gone! I lost the race. I lost the race. Oh, well, rip in peace. Rip in peace race. I'm gonna have to talk to Patricia. You're like, madame. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Oh! Understand? What the? Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, they just walked through doors. They just walk through some doors. My goodness. Hey, there's Patricia. Hey, Patricia. Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant she likes at all. him. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our gods. He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire okay, one... Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned your mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. Oh. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on her way home. She had all the holy books and secrets, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. This isn't good. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh boy. Oh! He, he ran out the other door! Oh my goodness! Okay, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh boy, he has dogs. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, Square gotta run. Still here. 
This is ridiculous. He is just wrecking people left and right. Where'd he go? No! Hey, I'm not him! Oh, boy. No, please, no. Please, no. There he is. Come on, come on. Okay, G Geralt, you are going to- Oh, my goodness. You kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I'm glad I got stuck in between a stupid- Great. Fantastic. I don't even know what's happening right now. Before I put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped.